Joanne and Ruby. I'm going to do a slow play review from Moss Bluff Friday Night for you. I really liked how from the back here, approaching since she's been having some stress in the alleyways with you, I like how you keep forward motion here and you just keep her moving. You're shaping her a little to keep her relaxed and then you just line up with third. She starts to hesitate there and you put some leg on her and say, no ma'am, keep going. And she does. So, you know, you did a really good job there. Unfortunately, because she was a little nervous, she took off on the wrong lead. Um, she swapped back here. She swept back here, but now one, two, three strides from the barrel. So, you know, anytime your horse has to switch, it's going to cost you a tenth or two. But, you know, she's, again, getting over her alleyway issues. So I wouldn't be overly concerned with it. Um, like I said, she swapped early enough out. Um, you're sitting early. You're sitting about three strides from the barrel, but your hands are a bit high, so her head is high. I'd like you to keep your hand about ho uh, horn level, about horn level instead of chest level. Um, I think that would be better as well. You do try to lower your hand down here, but whoops, let me get you back in frame there. Um, you do try to put your hand down here. You're locked down on the horn, but again, your hand's high, high hands, high head, so we want to watch that. Um, because you're on her head so much, her butt is swinging out into the turn here when it should be under her. You get a little bit topside. Um, I would adjust that pocket a little bit to, boom, um, you know, you're three or four feet good on her front end, but then her butt swings out, and that's because you're pulling on the inside rein too much. We want to get that hand down and ride our horses up into the hole, which is right here. Um, it's very important when we're coming in on our horses that we look and ride to the hole right there. And that's when, when we get back here, that's when between spot two and spot three, this is where the backside and the exit, where we turn our body and look around and then pick your hand up a little. But you need to float your hand down lower when you're coming into your turn and it won't cause her butt to swing out like that. One, two, and then you're having to play catch up now. Whenever you pull on the horse with the inside ring, they're going to drift outside. So that's why you have all this space here. Um, you have to remember never to pull, just to bump and release and guide. And, and then, of course, you're trying to get her over with your leg, which is fine. But the biggest problem was your hand. So now you're moving her over with your leg. You're getting over swapped hands. Um, she swapped leads about right here. Um, I like this. Your pocket's okay. But, again, um, she's, you know, raiding. But right there... You see how you kept your hand lower? Um, you still, your hand, your hand position is your biggest issue. Because your hand gets up, you know, you kept it low right here, but then you pull your hand over the top of the barrel, and that's going to cause her uh, a little problem too. You, you want to stop doing your horse's jobs for them. You want to guide your horse and turn your horse with body instead of pulling on them with your hand, because anytime you do, they're going to take a little step off. She leads hard and fast. That's really pretty. You stay out of her face. You just guide her, and your third barrel is sweet, very nice. Again, um, um, you know, just the biggest thing for you to work on is keeping your hand low and turning your horse with your eyes and your body more. Um, you know, really riding to your spots is the most important thing. So overall, though, it's a really nice run. It was a personal best for you that night, and you're on the right road with her. She's going in the alleyway nice. She's not going topside on first barrel anymore. I like your arc. Um, the only thing I'd suggest is change your hands, and uh, that will help uh, keep her correct body position and pocket around the barrels. Great job.